Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Joy Bettenhausen. Well, we're done with the rain for today. That rain in our southern counties has pushed on out of our viewing area. We'll be left with a mostly sunny sky, so a perfect day for outdoor out activities. However, tomorrow threat tracker is in the yellow. That's because there is a chance for some strong storms both tomorrow morning and the afternoon and evening hours. There is a slight risk, and we'll go over that in just a bit. As we start the work week, though, mostly sunny skies and temperatures. Actually, going to get a lot cooler than what we've been dealing with. Here's a look at that slight risk issued by the Storm Prediction Center for tomorrow. That includes all of eastern Iowa. Any severe storms that we do see could produce some large hail, damaging wind gusts, and can't rule out a tornado or two. So, of course, we'll be keeping our eyes on tomorrow's storm chances throughout the day today. And, of course, I'll, have, I'll be right back here with you for tomorrow. Here's a look at future track. This is Sunday at 4 a.m. So we'll start to see this line of storm start to push into eastern Iowa. I would say anywhere around 5 a.m. or so. That'll continue to move through the area, but you do notice it starts to weaken a little bit. That's some good news. It should be just rain and maybe some non-severe thunderstorms. This continues throughout much of the viewing area until about noon. Afternoon, we'll start to see that rain pushing on our eastern edges and out of our viewing area. We'll get a little bit of a break, but you notice some of that cloud cover starts to break up, meaning we start to see a little bit of sunshine. There's going to be a cold front that's going to move through Sunday afternoon through the evening hours, and the storms are going to develop right ahead of it. Those storms will push through the area, and this has the better chance at seeing some of those strong to severe storms. Again, we could be seeing large hail, damaging wind gusts, maybe a tornado or two. Now, the severity of these storms, that second round of storms, all depends on the first round of storms that we get tomorrow morning. Now, if those are more widespread in coverage, maybe more severe, then these storms will not be so severe. And again, if we can't clear out any cloud cover, we're not going to get any warming from the sun. That's just not going to help kind of destabilize the atmosphere to get those severe storms. So the storms will continue through the area, and I'd say by about late evening, just before midnight, the rain will officially clear on out. We'll sort of see some cloud cover behind that. Today's highs, mid to upper 80s, some low 90s for the south. It's going to be a warm day, but at least we've got some sunshine. Overnight tonight, we'll be in the low to mid 60s. Clouds will increase, then we'll start to see those storms pushing in late tonight through tomorrow morning. City by city forecast shows temperatures a bit cooler on Sunday as we have those two rounds of showers and storms. We'll be in the mid 80s and then even cooler by Monday. Some of us won't even be making it out of the 60s for highs. Temperatures start to slowly build back to the 80s by Wednesday and we'll have a couple on and off shower and storm chances through the work week.